Hello, welcome to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see what is alert and matrix in Azure Data Factory and we will also create new alerts and we will see how we can see different different visualizations in the matrix. So let's get started with the video. Uh, what you need to do is we know like whenever we are using Data Factory, there will be situation when your you know pipeline will be cancelled or it will fail or it will you know not run or not execute right in this situation what should happen uh, because if the data is of production or some higher environment if it is crucial what will happen is it will lead to failure right we should know the failure as soon as possible for that what we do is we use alerts so how to create an alert is we need to go to manage or simply in monitor section uh, we need to go to in monitor section and in the monitor section under notification there is something called alert and matrices so i will click over here once i have clicked over here what we need to do is we need to click on new alert so once i click on new alert so we can just give the alert name so i'll say pipeline failure something like that i'll tell this uh, you know severity of it like whether it is a serious thing or not right so you can just give it a priority so i'm giving it third number priority now we need to give a criteria like what criteria it should follow so whenever fail trigger run matrix means whenever my trigger is gets failed it will trigger right now what i can do is i need to tell the failure type so it, is, it should be a user error syntax error or bad gateway for everything i need to send a mail so i'm selecting all three now i will give a condition it should be greater than greater than equal to less than whatever i will say greater than the total threshold of zero or i, I will say one whatever logic you want you can add it now it should evaluate every last one minute i want that okay so this is how i created a criteria all right now uh, let me just show you again so what it is doing is we have given a dimension we have selected the type of failure we have given the alert logic we have given evaluation based on this and we will add this criteria now what we need to do is we uh, we can add multiple criteria also you can do that by clicking on plus now we need to configure notification so i will create a temp group and i will give sort name as so something like that whatever you want and I will click on add new notification, new action. I will say email. I what whenever it says, just email to this email ID. You can even add SMS or you know you can also use Azure Push notification, right? Based on your requirement, you can select it, and you need to click on add notification. Once this is done, we have added a new action. Like whenever this thing happens, you just uh, give a mail to my mail ID, and I will click on add action group once i click on add action group if everything is fine and if i click on create alert rule so my alert will be created so let us wait for it all right sometimes you may find uh, you know errors so to remove those errors if it arises you need to go to your you know resource group inside that you need to go to resource providers and whatever in the error the provider is missing you just you know uh, just find it and click on register let's say if, uh, if this is giving an error you will just click on it and you will click on register so this name provider name will be mentioned in the error itself so it may happen sometimes if you haven't configured your data factory properly i have configured my data factory properly so my alert is created i'm just disabling it because i don't want it as of now now you must be thinking like what are matrices right so whatever consumption you are doing of your resources it will tell right uh, like what are the stats basically what is your consumption uh, of your data factory it, of any resource right so you will go to monitor and inside monitor we have something called matrices once we click on matrices we can select a scope like oh, you know uh, what what things we need to cover i'm just covering everything which which location i need to cover everything okay i'll just click on this and you need to tell the resource type okay so i'm just saying let's say the data factory okay 
and data factory i will select the data factory which data factory i want i'll click on apply so now it it created this visualization now i can just tell like uh, you know cancel pipeline so i have zero cancel pipeline right so let's say maximum allowed entries count so i have no value 5 case uh, is the upper limit because i am not using data factory much uh, it was recently created so it is not showing that stats but those you can see here right you can visualize like what are things you are using how you are using and if anything is not required you can delete that resource to save cost so it is you know very helpful in cost optimization purposes right so this was all about alerts and matrices i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any question you can put it in the comment box thank you